Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about installing for APK file into emulator. Okay, this is basically how we can able to install it. There are two ways we can able to like there are so many ways, but I'm going to show you the two ways. So one is uh, by using for uh, AppM inspector. AppM inspector to connecting the AppM to this particular uh, device and whether this particular device is active or not for this we can able to CMD ADB ADB if you enter you can able to see all uh, information about ADB related stuff and uh, they will give you some information about how you can able to get the uh, devices whether it is presented or not these are devices to get the devices presented connected list of connected devices are presented okay and if you go for again here down adb space devices and if you enter here now the list of devices attached is emulator triple five four triple five four is nothing but this one if you create another uh, emulator this also it will give you for the same name because by default it will take the emulator name as a emulator iphone triple five four okay this is one option okay now we are able to see for emulator version like emulator whether it is presented or not all right now the point is to download for apk file Okay, I downloaded already one file that is appm demos 4.0. Okay, and if you go for Google, search for uh, API demo APK file, demos APK file, then it will give you for some list here. Okay. And you need to choose the based upon which version you want. Uh, demo site, it is probably. The name which is API demos 4.0. Demos 4.0. Demo. APK downloader API demos demos 4.0 APK downloader then you can able to see the starting position one is there that is a 4.0 latest version API demos and second also it is presented okay 4.0 very old version 1.9.0 is there you can able to choose any one of them both are same version it is updated on 2020 and it is updated on 2003 if you don't go for here and download this particular file okay now it is starting for downloading now it is downloaded after clicking for that particular one it is downloaded here and i need to go for download location you can able to see there is a first file apa demos for this particular file 1.0 the same file which i downloaded already okay now this one to how we can able to use it means just you can uh, overlap and minimize this particular one and keep it side why it is not moving sometimes it will not move properly this is happening in here as well shit okay no problem and now here it is there right just uh, hold this one 
and drag and drop into that emulator. Once you drag and drop, installation for APK file is started and down installed. Okay. Now, if you maximize here, you can able to see API demos are presented. Okay. Now, if you want app information or anything, you can able to use it. If you want uninstall, you can able to uninstall back. And if you search this particular one, okay then if you go for here now it is gone okay this is the one format and second format we need to uh, run for appm server 4.24 4, 7, 2, 4 okay and then you need to for running purpose a uh, sorry appm space iphone p is a port 4724 is a port number. Once you hit this particular one, it will start for service. Okay, once you start a service, then we need to go for here. And there is a desired capabilities presented. Here there is a name of the app and uh, which text and where we need to provide desired capability. And this is the one I have already here, platform information text Android and that uh, Appium platform uh, version. Okay, this one also we can able to get it from there in emulator location. Okay, and how we can able to know for this platform information and all. I'll copy this particular file. You can able to see this is the way we can able to do it. And how we can able to get it means you can able to use it for here. Appium capabilities. Okay. Once you hit that one app um, capabilities, then you can able to get the first one. You can able to get it for here. Okay. Or else you can able to see second as well, appm desired capabilities. You can go for here. It will give you four. Uh, this is the world version platform and device and it is there, right? And if you see for the difference, uh, appm platform version uh, device uh, and app, this is the one it will be presented. Okay. It's a old version of data. Okay, if you come to down and it will give you for old version. And the first one only it will give you for par proper uh, information. You can see right appm colon automation name and appm device name and appm app, appm platform version, appm new command timeout. Okay, here there are so many things are presented. You can uh, use based upon your convenient. Okay. And if you comes to here, I already provided for all the information here. Appm devices emulator, this one. And the uh, platform version, you will get it for Android Studio virtual device location. There is a, here Android 13.0 is the uh, platform version for us. Okay. That, that particular 13.0. <coughs> Zero, we need to use it here. 13.0 or 13 also okay. There is an Android and this is an emulator name. This is a file name where we have. Okay, I kept into D drive. That's why I, you can able to see for D drive file location. And uh, automation name is UI Automator 2. And uh, secure web view have the pages means true type of mentioning. Okay. And if you want, you can save it, save, and then start for the session. Okay. Once you start the session, you can able to see APM set is came. Okay. And this is another uh, Android UI program one. Okay. That that's one it is displaying. Okay. Once it is installed here, you can able to see. This is the UI and the same UI which we are opened. Okay. If you want to do some operation, if you want some finding some element and all, you can able to click and you can able to find it. Then if I click and finding, but I want to, after clicking, I want to focusing means you can able to, this is a focus. This is a tab one. It will tab for one time. We can able to tab one time. If you want back to go this one, 
if you want to refresh the tinder page means you opened something which we can able to contacts i opened okay this is a page i want to see here how we can able to means you can able to refresh once you refresh that particular page will be displayed here okay <clears throat> if you want back if you want to home or if you want uh, press the switching buttons and everything you can able to start recording section also it is there and we can able to do whatever it is and all the web element it is presented here we'll see for one by one uh, locator how we can able to work in this particular one okay the easiest way i'm going to explain you for how we can able to create for locators and all i will show you in the later video session okay thank you subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to comment on this video thank you